Hey guys, welcome to the video. In this video here, we're going to see how we can install this set SDK. So I have this set camera here. We're creating a whole playlist where we go over how we can use this stereo camera, both on a Windows computer, but also on an Edge device like a Jetson Nano. In this video, we're going to just go over the installation and also see some previews with the depth map, key point tracking, positional tracking, how you can use it for basically tracking where your camera are moving, for slam, visual odometry, and so on. So just jump straight into the stereo labs documentation. If you go over here to the left, we can read about all of it. I already did an introduction, so definitely check that video out. But we're going to create a bunch of videos here in the playlist, how you can do body tracking, 3D optic detection, even how can you can take YOLO V8 models, YOLO V9 and so on, even custom YOLO models, how we can train it on our own data set, use it on this stereo camera, combine it with the depth map to get 3D bounding boxes. But over here to the left, we can see we have the installation tab. It both works on Windows, Linux, and also Jetson Nano. Right now, let's just hit Windows. There we go. Here, we basically just need to go down, set it up with CUDA. So to be able to do this, make sure that you have CUDA toolkit available. You just need to go into this link here, choose which of the CUDA versions you want to use, click on it, and it will download automatically on your computer if you have a GPU available. You can also use it without a GPU and just run it on a CPU. Of course, the processing speed will be significantly slower. But first of all, we need to install the set SDK. So oh, there we go. We can go into this link, 4.1.2. May 24th release. You can just go inside of it here. You can choose which of the CUDA versions that you have. So depending on the CUDA toolkit. Right now I'm on CUDA 12. You can choose between Windows, Ubuntu, and also Jetson Nano a bit further down. So right now on Windows, I've just chosen the first one up here at the top. You just have to click through the couple of installation steps and you're pretty much good to go. If you have an NVIDIA Jetson, you can go down and just take the set SDK, depending on the Jetpack version that you have on your NVIDIA board, but I'm going to create a separate video for that because I'm going to show you how we can set up a whole NVIDIA Jetson Nano board, one of the RN versions, how to set all of that up with DeepStream, all of the dependencies from CUDA, NVIDIA and so on, and how we can run it together with the set camera to create real world AI applications, optic detection models, segmentation models and so on, and act like run it so we can put it into production. And then we can jump straight back into our documentation. So need to set SDK, just a few installation steps. We need CUDA and that's pretty much it. Once you have done that, you can then go down to the search bar and just search for set. It's going to pull up all the different tools here available and the apps, they will be automatically installed on your computer. You can both go in and do camera calibration, the depth viewer and so on, but they're already pre-calibrated from the factory. So right now, let's just go in, see the sensor viewer. So we can just take one of them and take a look at it. So I'm just going to pull up the camera here. So right now we can see that it is also equipped with an IMU, accelerometer, gyroscope, orientation, barometer, magn magnetometer, and also temperature sensor. And then we can see down here at the bottom how it accelerates in the different axes. So we have the X, Y, and Z axis. So I have the camera here. And you can see when I'm moving it around, it's actually like tilting in the exact same direction. You can see the peaks down here on the acceleration in meters per second square. And we also have the timestamps down at the bottom. So this is just raw out of the box that you can use, but you can access all of this information directly through the Python SDK as well. We're going to see a bunch of examples, so definitely stay tuned for those videos. So we can see each of these sensors here. We can see how the camera is moving around. It's combining, fusing, all of the information here from the different sensors so it knows the position of the camera. Even the temperature sensor here, which is pretty good to monitor if your performance is degrading or something like that. So this is one of the options that we have. Let's go down and search for some of the other ones. So the calibration is not really good now. It's pre-calibrated. We can create a separate video where you can go in and calibrate. You just need a calibration board and just move it around. We can probably just start here just to get, give you guys like understanding of how it works. Just start. And then we just need to take the camera and aim for this uh, circle in the middle. And it's going to do auto calibration. So I'm just moving the camera back and forth to hit this circle. And it will automatically detect the corners of the checkerboard here from different distances, different positions and so on from different angles as well. So this is how you can do camera calibration with the set camera and it will do everything automatically. So this is a pretty cool tool. If you want to go in, make sure that your camera calibration parameters are the correct ones. So this is very useful as well. 
We have the depth sensor here. So the depth viewer we have from 20 centimeters to 20 meters. So it is a very accurate and detailed depth map that we get from this set camera. So here we can just turn it around. We have the set camera, everything works in real time, even the depth map at the bottom. So we both have a confidence and also a depth map. You can see the point cloud over here to the left. There we go. And I can move it further away. There we go. Can you move the camera around? And we can see that we have this point cloud over here to the right side. So this acts like a very detailed point cloud and the measurements, the accuracies in the real world distances is very accurate. We can see the distance up here. So 1.6 meters is the maximum distance, which is pretty correct to my background. So it's very detailed. I can just put it up here in front of my head. There we go. So it actually gives this very nice detail around my head. The distance is around 35 meters, uh, uh, centimeters away from the camera, which is also pretty accurate. So this is a very cool tool. You can just go in and initially see the depth map before you can use it in your own applications and projects. So it's good to just go in and test that the camera is connected, working together. It needs a USB free connection to be able to pull all this information and also in real time. So one other thing that we're going to take a look at is the depth viewer or like the explorer. And this is just pulling the information from both cameras. So you can also go in manually, go in, take the different points, take each individual camera, depending on what you want to do, or just apply your own algorithms on top of it. We can even change the resolution of the camera. So it goes all the way up to 2K resolution, which is pretty awesome for a stereo camera, but it's also on the more expensive end. I've not been able to find better cameras myself out there, so this is pretty awesome. And we even have 60 frames, 30 frames, and also 50, 15 frames per second. And all of it can be set automatically inside the code as well. So you don't need to take care of that. You can set it up just as we're setting up OpenCV. So this is pretty much it. This is very cool. This is how you can set up your own set to i camera and all the other set cameras available from Stereo Labs. Now we have the installation. We know what we can do with the framework and the SDK. In the upcoming videos, we're actually going to dive into the code, see how we can clone it, take a look at the different examples, how we can set it up. We'll go over line by line how the code works set it up, see some results, even how we can use custom models, put it in there and act like take our machine learning models out from the Jupyter Notebooks into the real world with this set to camera, both on a Windows computer, you can do it on Ubuntu, but I'm also going to create a bunch of videos with a Jetson Nano RN. So we can run real world, real time AI on just a single Nvidia board with the set to camera. So I hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Definitely stay tuned for them until then. Happy learning.